so kumara bhadi values three piece in language learning and teaching who is kumara bhadi value kumara bhadi value is a um, is a emeritus professor in uh, a university in america kumara bhadi value a prominent figure in the field of language teaching introduced the concept of post method pedagogy concept of post method pedagogy a framework that challenges traditional approaches to language education and actually this uh, perspectives delivered by kumara bhadi bele i like him and like his proposal very much because it is uh, very much appropriate and it is a uh, break away to the traditional teaching and learning methods so he introduced a concept the of post method pedagogy a framework that challenges traditional approaches to language education and this framework emphasizes the importance of context flexibility and individual learner needs context context is very important in which context you are teaching in which context you are learning what is the context context means the academic culture institutional supports or everything that is the context and flexibility flexibility that means you will not be rigid in a in an approach or in a method that means one method will be applicable for all that is a rigid idea going away from the rigid idea that means flexible that means the learner and the teacher will be flexible what would be applicable for a certain context that should be applied and that has been described and prescribed by komara bhadi bhelu in his proposals of 3p so context individuality and flexibility is the core concept of komara bhadi bhelu's post method pedagogy and individual learner needs what is their needs needs analysis what is if i say that why you are learning english why you are teaching english so the requirements from learner to learner the requirements from state to state the requirements from students to students will be varied someone wants to go to foreign country that is his needs someone want to learn language for teaching and learning classical literature that is his interest someone want to be the journalist that is his interest so needs analysis is one of the core concepts in kumara bhadi velus post method pedagogy and moving away from the rigid methods and towards a more personalized and adaptable approach personalized means what i think that is the best for me i will be following that being a teacher that's to my yes adaptable whether it will be adaptable that means if you say that it is uh, uh, you will be implementing clt everywhere in bangladesh in case of bangladesh in uh, at present in uh, uh, many institution they can give the um, uh, suitable condition and environment for communication because large number of students in every class more than 50 students are there so clt the communication will not be there so again and again it goes to the traditional method that is grammar translation method so the whether the method is adaptable or not whether it is practical or not whether it is possible or not and what is the context observing all this scenario kumara bhadi velu prescribed a method that is called post method pedagogy and in that post method pedagogy three p's are very important that is practicality possibility and probability okay so kumara bhadi bhelu educated in at the university of madras in india then lancaster in england and next time michigan university in the us so he had the experience of studying in india so last okay. p is for probability 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 and possibility possibility and uh, post method uh, kumara bhadi bhelu has specialized in language teaching methods post method pedagogy 
teacher education, uh, classroom discourse analysis, teaching culture, everything. He is the author of language teaching education, teacher education for a global society, many books he has written and uh, he is famous for this and he has published 30 research articles and he has delivered keynote speakers in many countries of this world. Australia, Brazil, Colombia, England, Finland, Hong Kong, Mexico, Singapore, South Korea, Taiwan, USA, okay. So he has this, um, he has delivered lecture in several parts and several countries of this world. This is uh, post-method pedagogy prescribed by Kumara Vadivelu. Kumara Vadivelu's post-method pedagogy is built upon three <coughs> principles. What is that? How, which are they? That is particularity, practicality, and possibility. Possibility, not uh, probability. So practicality underscores the need for the teachers to be sensitive for the specific needs, problems, and context of the learner. Particular, okay. Every context is particular, okay. Suppose uh, the context of high school is different from the context of a university. The context is different from even a school and a college that are different. A context from a country is different from the context of other country. So every context is particular and different. So particularity, you have to focus on the particular context in which you are teaching. If you teach in a school, your style will be different. If you teach at universities, your style will be different. If you teach in Asian countries, your style will be different. If you teach in European countries, your style will be different. So you have to be particular where and in which and whom you are teaching. So that is the concept of particularity. You have to be particular and understanding the practicality of the context, you have to design your style. Which style or which method you will follow for teaching and learning English language or second language. And this principle recognizes that language learning is not a one size fits all endeavors. So this concept is that one method is not for all. That cannot be. That was his emphasis. One method and one approach cannot be applicable for every country, for every student. There is no fixed way. And the effective, that effective teaching requires uh, tailoring instruction to the unique characteristics of each group of students. Every group. Every group is unique. Eh? That is We all have email address, isn't it? Yes. An email address, if it becomes similar to some other, you will not get the email address. So your email address will be unique. Particular. Particular. If there are 800 crore population in this world, there will be 600 crore email address, and 600 crore email address will be unique. So Kumara Bhadivelu emphasized that the requirements, needs, learning style of every student, every group of students is unique. That is one requirement. If we move forward, practicality. Emphasize the teacher's role in monitoring and reflecting upon their own teaching methods. This uniqueness is called practical. Practicality. Uniqueness. Particularity. Yes. Particularity unique. And practicality, what is different? Practicality emphasizes the teacher's role and monitoring and reflecting upon their own teaching method. That means whether you are following a method, but whether it will be practical or not. Suppose you want to implement CLT, but the infrastructure not may not be favorable. The class size may not be favorable. The interaction pattern will not be favorable. Class size of the actual student. Actual student, you have communication. You have a CLT to implement the chan. 
তাহলে ইন্টারাকশান করতে হবে একশো জন স্টুডেন্টের মধ্যে আপনি ইন্টারাকশান কীভাবে করাবেন ক্লাস সাইজ কী হতে হবে স্মল তাহলে যেখানে ক্লাস সাইজ স্মল হয়তো বিশ জন পনেরো জন স্কুল এবং সেখানে কি ইন্টারাকশান হতে হলে ক্লাস সাইজ হতে হবে কি ও ভাল যেন ফেস টু ফেস ইন্টারাকশান হয় ওকে তার মানে আপনি কোনো একটা মাথার ফলো করার আগে আপনাকে চিন্তা করতে হবে যে এটা প্র্যাকটিক্যালি সম্ভব কি না ওকে দ্যাট ইজ প্র্যাকটিক্যালিটি সো প্র্যাকটিক্যালিটি ইম্ফাসাইজ আমন রিফ্লেক্স টিচার্স ম্যাথড আইডেন্টিফাইং হোয়াট ওয়ার্কস অ্যান্ড হোয়াট ডাজেন্ট কোনটা ওয়ার্ক করবে এবং কোনটা করবে না and this principle encourages teachers to be adaptable and responsive to the dynamic nature of the classroom constantly evaluating and re- refining their teaching strategies based on their observation and experience okay suppose you may start teaching following clt but after getting the problems you can also change that is it is not practical and you will be following the method that will be suited for the context that would be suited for the institution that would be suited for the country and even that would be suited for the learners that is practicality and third one is the possibility acknowledges the diverse experience and perspectives that the teachers bring to the classroom shaped by their social economic and political environment okay social economic and political environment social that means the social many social perspectives interaction is not allowed okay in many economic perspectives the country or the institution can passes the equipments that would help you language teaching okay projector will be there okay projector in uh, many institution you will not have this projector and the maintenance okay how you will be, you will be carrying okay in several institution they can hang okay so the economic perspectives is that if you want to implement a method you have to think about the economic perspectives okay so these are the perspectives whether it will be possible or not to teach or to follow a special method you have to consider this and this principles recognizes that teachers are not simply vessels of knowledge but rather active as in to bring their own technique and or unique backgrounds and experience to bear on their teaching okay observing these things whether it is possible or not teacher will apply his or her own method observing this situation whether it will be possible or not whether it will be practical or not whether it will be particular or not so this 3p plays vital role in post major pedagogy prescribed by kumar abadi velus so kumar abadi velus post major pedagogy challenges the notion that there is there is one best method for language teaching you can't say that one method is best you can't say according to kumara bhedi velus post method pedagogy you have to observe the situation and observing the situation you will apply your own method and how you will design your own method that depends on the teacher's experience teacher's background and observing the needs of the learners observing the needs of the institution and other stakeholders observing the needs of the guardian or the guardian one from the learner or the students so observing everything teacher will bring their own method in post method pedagogy in institute it emphasizes the importance of teachers being flexible adaptable teachers will be flexible not in this okay and adaptable and responsive to the unique needs and context of their learners and this approach encourages teachers to move beyond the rigid method move beyond the rigid method on a fixed method and they will apply his or her own method and embrace a more personalized and learner centered approach to language education jeta je method follow kore student der bhalo hobe ebong student ta bujhte parbe sei method tai hocche uni follow korben ei jonno teacher kono ekta fixed method e rigid thakbe na je ami etai follow korbo grammar translation method ami etai follow korbo no okay observing the situation teacher will try to implement his or her own method that is post method pedagogist concept delivered by kumar abhi develop so post method the post method approach also emphasizes the importance of learner autonomy learner autonomy that means the learner will gain independence how they will learn their language they can practice in group they can practice at home they can practice by write, reading or writing okay anyway so learner will be given the autonomy 
that means in which way they will be practicing speaking kibhabe tara speaking practice korbe kibhabe tara writing practice korbe eta learner ra tader shadhinota keu hoyto ba onner samne kotha bolte lojja pai uni tar nijer style follow korben uni hoyto dekha gelo ayanar samne dariye kotha bolben ha uni hoyto emon ekjoner sathe kotha bolben hoyto poribarer kono sodosshyo sathe kotha bole tar speaking ta ke develop korben that is his style and if the learner is allowed to speak or develop his own methods and own style that is called learner autonomy okay so student will get the learner autonomy in this post method pedagogy so this shift is in focus from teacher center to learner centers so post method pedagogy is learner centers what learner will do that will be determined by the learner himself okay not the teacher so gtm and the other perspective that would be the teacher center teacher will be delivering the lecture and learner will be listening that is the teacher centered approach but post method pedagogy that should be the learner centered approach learner should play or learner should act or practice in his or her own way that is called learner autonomy learner der shadhinata thakbe in post method pedagogy okay and uh in the learning developing critical thinking skill and becoming more independent learners kumara vedu bolu sposhnat pedagogy has a kind of significant impact on the field of language teaching promoting a shift away from the rigid method and towards a more flexible and learner centered approach and this framework encourages teachers to be responsive to the unique needs and context of the learners and fostering a more personalized and engaging learning styles so we can say that kumara bhed bhedus post method pedagogy and focuses for a flexible and personalized methods and that would be observing the three p's that is practicality possibility and particularity the teacher and also the learner they will choose their own method or approach of language teaching and learning teacher will carry their background knowledge teacher will observe the necessity of the learners teacher will observe the context and observing the context observing the learners needs and observing the social and the economic perspectives of the country and the institution teacher will implement a flexible way suppose he or she may start with clt but he or she may ends with cooperative language teaching observe observing the students needs and requirements okay teacher will not be fixed and learners will not be fixed learner will be autonomous they will develop their own learning style they will develop their own practice style introduction style group work peer work everything he or she will be develop in his or her own way that is called the learner autonomy so the post method pedagogy one important person that is kumara bhed bhelu he has developed the three p's that is particularity practicality and possibility applying these three p's in language learning may be or may be the best approach in english language teaching and learning that is the core concept of kumara bhed bhelu's post method uh, pedagogy okay there are some advantages of this pedagogy that is improves quality education okay and if a student centered pedagogy is developed in the classroom it can be boost the quality of education okay harness team learning whenever you will be discussing or talking you with, with, with your friends or the classmate that would be the team engagement or the learning will be developed no monotonous learning sometimes in case of teacher centered approach student become monotonous and bored okay having lectures hours after afters so in case of post method pedagogy student will not be monotonous learn in your way that is autonomous learning and also convenient for special students and also improve students and the teacher communications so these are the advantages of post method pedagogy so that is an important aspect and i like it and i love it so if you follow and if you understand the concepts you will try to implement in your own teaching and learning platform and that would be helpful for your language teaching and learning journey okay so uh, thank you very much and